All right, so the next step is to do, we're gonna do this uh, behind the rear quarter window, and this gets glued down to the wheel hump, and the strips on this material, plastic strips that gotta get tucked behind these grippers. So just kind of throw that, tuck this strip back like that so you have a nice fold, and then put the strip into the, behind the grippers, make sure you're even up and down, and you're kind of lined up there. If your teeth are sticking out, you might want to hammer them even again, like I said last time. So, all right, let's see here. Okay. Let's kind of get it even. You might have to move the material out of the way. And you can see what I'm doing here. See, I got the strip inside the grippers. There we go. It kind of just slips in there. Some of them, like, the strips come up past the grippers here in this corner. I don't know if you can see that. That's okay. That's as long as it's even with this top piece here where the back window is, you should be all right. But you just want to get that material down far enough so you're okay. Okay, just line it up. Just get this down there a little more. Okay. Now just get your trusty hammer in. Start hammering the grippers up. See that? Right up in here. Grippers are slammed down and the teeth are holding in the strip. too much if the grippers are uneven. What all depends on is this strip that actually peeks its head out up above the grippers just a little bit. That's good because that's a straight line so when you finally pull the material over it'll be a nice straight line. Sometimes you might need your uh, plastic impact tool here to kind of get it down behind the teeth just so it's even. Okay, now the headliner comes around and you got your nice straight line there. That's that. And when we pull it, okay. All right, so what we're going to start to do is glue on, up on the pillar here first, the overhead part here, and. Uh, you don't really have to do dry on dry, you just have to just spray the material here. We're just going to spray the top part of this material. You don't have to spray down here yet. I just want to glue this top portion. And remember, go a good half inch to three quarters of an inch above the pillar so you can tuck the material in and behind uh, the pillar here so it has a finished look. I kind of go halfway to where the doorpost pillar is first just so I can control myself. <laughs> okay. Give yourself, like I said, a half inch to three quarters above. Just start massaging it down. And that's good. Now we're gonna work our way to the front, up over here, just to set it up into place, that's all. for the bottom grippers to grip around. Okay, so we're gonna go like that, and then the grippers will take the rest, pretty much. Just kind of massage it down for now, just to hold it in place. Okay, this is where we're gonna start gluing the headliner to the, op the window opening. Uh, basically, I just put it on low again. All right, put it on the L and just start basically spraying the glue in the opening of the window and then we'll start spraying it actually on the headliner from inside here. Let's see. Okay, 
not to, you don't have to do the whole portion of this yet on the bottom, just you know, halfway into the, the bottom. Okay, now we want to spray the back of the headliner to where it would glue here. Don't go too crazy up into it. Okay, now we're going to glue a little bit here on the inside. But once we're in the car, we can finagle that a little more. I'll show you here. Okay, I like to start kind of like mid window of the quarter window and you don't glue to the contour of the the body you want to glue push it and pull it right to the opening here of the, the edge of the window and then just put with your fingers push it up and you should have here a nice uniform look straight down from the top to the window opening do not push, I see a lot of guys that push it and contour it to the inside of the car and that's not what you're supposed to do. So, you start working your way back. Now this part's a little bit easier than the back window of course. So I'm going to get my razor and I'm going to start chipping away here. Kind of free up. Some guys use the clips here too if you want to, I never really have to. The glue's strong enough to hold it. You might want to just make some relief cuts. I'm in the corner here. You can make a couple slits here. Just be careful. Small cuts. And if you're when in doubt, just make sure you cut a little bit shorter than the window. You don't want to start cutting into the headliner. Then you're in trouble. So, okay, so before we proceed forward now, we've got to do the part over the wheel hump. Next part we're going to do is, before we start going down here on the window, um, we want to start gluing it to this wheel hump and to the back part of the firewall so we start getting tighter. So what I do is just basically spray on the hump so about there and then also inside here the door panel area which you want to kind of scratch off at whatever whatever garbage is in there. The headliner doesn't glue to this, it glues to the inside here where the door panel will hold it in. It's right in there. That's where the, it's going to glue. And then what you want to do is lift up the headliner and start just spraying the headliner, the back of it, so it goes dry on dry to the hump. I'm going to also glue the firewall here, get a little glue on that, let that set up a little. All right, so now it got tacky, it's kind of dry now, a little tacky there, and what I like to do is you want to glue the material just to the hump, not to the wall. A lot of people glue to the wall and it just doesn't, it's not right. You're supposed to glue actually on the hump so we have a straight wall with the material. So you just, I just kind of feel around with my fingers where the hump is, and that's, there we go. And you want to keep this straight up and down, so you pull this down to the wheel hump. Okay. Work your way back. Okay, now you see you start to wrinkle up a little bit here, and all you do is just pick it up and pull it it tight. Oop. Need a little glue on the headliner there. Get that set up a little. And then don't worry about the excess over here. We'll cut that with a razor. You know, maybe about a an inch or so away from the wall, so you're good. The carpet's going to go over this anyway, so that'll be hidden. Now, if you got this piece over here, this is what the backrest rests on. You're going to just have to cut this with the razor and make a hole 
for the headliner to go around it, that's all. Okay, so I'm going to just test fit this to there and just cut. So I just like to make an X. Slit up here in the corner, as usual. Take a couple slits, straighten her out. You gotta get a little glue here. Just a little bit under the quarter window, just so this can hold. Okay, let that set up a little. You wanna finesse and get the rest straightened. We have no wrinkles. What's good is once you start gluing this down, then when the carpet goes on down on top of it, that'll also pull it down, keep it nice and straight. It'll be uniform, and uh, all this what you see here that looks kind of messy will be, all be hidden. So like I said, you glue inside where the door panel would sit. It's just with your thumb. That's what you glue in there, because the door panel will hide that and you won't see it. So I just want to get this a little tighter down here on the wheel hump. Okay. Nice and glued, glued. Now you can cut the excess off if you'd like. You don't have to if you don't want to, but the carpet will cover that, but I usually like to cut the excess off. Ooh, there goes my finger. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> So you gotta be careful. <laughs> I'm sure I had to do this tuck here on the door post and where to cut it here, which could be confusing sometimes to uh, people in the corner in the front part of the quarter window. Um, so basically what I like to do is just keep moving forward, make sure to pull it tight, but not, you know, you don't have to yank on it. And just make sure it's all nice and uniform just to get the wrinkles out. And you want to make some relief cuts. Be careful you don't cut your finger like I did last time. I'm going to actually use my scissors instead. It's a little better. Okay. Whoop. Okay. So let's get this up into the window. Okay, got all that in. Now, this part here, what I like to do is cut a piece, cut your line, go right to the edge of the window, and just make sure you don't want to cut too far in. I cut a straight line up there, and then I look over here where the top part of the wind lace is here. Feel the top part with your finger and then what I like to do is come in the inside part of the wind lace, not the outside part, the inside part. Come to the, feel the top and then what I do is I just kind of cut a, another vertical line like that. And then all I got to do is tuck this. Basically a diagonal line tuck from the corner from the top corner of the wind lace down to the corner here of the quarter window. Okay. And there's your tuck. See? Got it? Mm -hmm. And the rest gets glued up into the window. That's it. Later, later on, we we'll cut that with a razor. And that's how you do your tuck on your door post. And then basically from this point here, 
where you have this flap, this is what then goes up into the grippers over the door. And that will get tucked in there, and that'll be nice and uniform up in here. I'll show you how to do that now. Okay. I'm just opening the grippers up a little more here above the door so I can spray some glue in there. Uh, I'd like to spray glue in there and a little bit on the headliner so when we stuff it in, uh, you know, it'll stick in there. And that's why I also put the felt padding, remember, on the grippers so that'll hide the teeth of the grippers to show through the material. Just get your little squirt glue and just let's get it in there. Okay, and then just put a little bit on the material. All right, so what I'm going to do is going to start pushing the headliner into the grippers. Basically look inside here, pull it a little bit so it's nice and straight. And then I'll come out here, line it up to the gripper, and then with your, your tool, just stuff it in. Don't worry about the excess, we'll cut that off later. So the same here, I'm going to pull it, take a peek inside, make sure I'm straight and stuff it in. You can see over there, see how I got it in here? You can see it's a little stuffed in there, but that's okay. I'll get in there with a razor and we'll cut that and then with your rubber mallet, we'll bang those up. All right, so the last part of the pillar area here before we can finish tucking in in the front teeth, I usually leave this a little loose here. And you gotta check, uh, we gotta do a tuck here, but this is, we have kind of a lot of excess here, so you know, here's the diagonal line, like I showed you last time when we put the padding in. So we got to do the same diagonal line, but we're going to have to tuck this to get that line. Cut that off. And then I'm going to cut a diagonal line. Curl that in. Most of these grippers you can put up by hand. So I just kind of push that up just to get it into place. And there is your tuck. Cool. Okay, now this top excess of the headliner now, you see all this up here? What you do is with your, your tool, like this, the plastic tool with the hook on it, you start pushing the headliner in. All the way to the back. Okay. There you go. Now when you put the plastic strip in there, these might come out again, so you could always just either squirt them with a little bit of glue and then, uh, you know, tuck it back in there. But for the most part, it pretty much, it'll, it'll stay. So, I see what I mean when I, when we spoke about the padding up here, you want it to be even up there, but you don't want it to be, you know, all bunched up or higher than the pillar, because then when you wrap that material around, you don't want any lumps up there. We'll go to the opening here, or over the door, come this way. All right, so basically the same thing. What I do is I try to get the blade deep into the opening. You know, you, want, you don't want to do it on the edge of the teeth. You want to get up in there and to cut it straight across because you need enough slack to go into the grippers to be, uh, to, so when we hammer it up with the mallet, it covers it and it looks like a nice finish. So I'm going to get up into there pretty deep and cut straight across. Yeah, so come over here. If you can get tight in here, 
you can see how f high up might want to come down a bit dad and, and look go up into it you see here that's a high into that's where I cut it okay you need enough slack so now when we bang this up this is all fit this is all there's enough you know cloth in there to be held okay so after I cut the excess off you might want to get in there with your tool and just one last shot just go in there and make sure everything's glued down if you see a little bit of remnants of material in there that's small enough to get stuffed in there you can do that uh, but for the most part just go in there and do one last tap up and down just to make sure it's glued in place and now we can use our rubber mallet and hammer it up basically just start from the back and hammer my way up All right, so then we'll go on the inside of the car and you'll be able to see the finished look. And then after that, uh, you guys could do the other side. Okay, so here's our finished look. There's our tuck from the start. Here's over the door. There's our tuck over the door post, which is always a tricky one. Like I said, it's diagonal. It's up from the top of the wind lace. It goes diagonal into the corner of the top of the quarter window and then here's the back area around the back window where it meets up and where it's nicely glued to the wheel hump and to the back firewall again the carpet's going to cover that and again it does not glue to the wall where you glue it is into the door panel area and on the wheel hump Okay, as you can see, we also reworked uh, the other side, passenger side. Worked our way up and around again. And over the door. Everything looks pretty good. There's our tuck again on our door post. And anytime you see wrinkles that you want to fix, again, you know, now's the time to try to fix it. The glue has not set up uh, solid yet. Um, pretty much overnight, that glue will get nice and hard and be a little more difficult in the next day to to fix it so now that it's still kind of moist is when you should actually fix it but that is that so between the back headliner the back window which was the tough part and the sides we are three quarters of a way there all we got to do now is under the quarter windows here and we got to do of course the final roof Thank you.